Symbols are probably one of the most useful features in Adobe Animate, and the more you know about symbols, the more efficient your animations are going to be. Think of a symbol like you're saving an asset that you can reuse at any time later. Now you can pretty much make anything into a symbol by selecting it, right click and convert to symbol, or you can select and press F8 as the shortcut. Most of the time you're going to be using the graphics, so let's go over the graphics first. Now if you look in the library, the symbol is now saved as an asset in your library that you can drag into the stage and use at any time. If you double click a symbol, in the library or the stage, you will go inside of it where you can make edits. And every symbol has their own timeline as well. So you can actually store entire animations with multiple layers in these babies. And you can even put other symbols inside of a symbol. Like this sword graphic that I made, I'm putting it inside of the stick figure graphic. Now you can tell you're inside of a symbol from this little tree here. You'll see the name. If I click on the leftmost button right now, it's scene one, it will take you outside back into the main timeline. When you have a symbol selected under the properties, you'll be able to control some of the options like if you want it to loop, hold a single frame, and even choose what frame the symbol starts on. If you want to convert an already made animation into a graphic symbol, you can either do it this way by copy pasting the frames, or you can do it this way by right clicking the entire layer and converting it into a symbol. Now I converted this walk cycle into a symbol and I, and I dragged a few out. Now, just like before, I'm just going to play around with the properties so they start at different intervals. And you can see that I have a bunch of walking stick figures now. now I'm just gonna quickly separate these stick figures on their own layers so I can tween them by pressing F6 right clicking anywhere between the two keyframes and going to create classic tween. So just by using one graphic symbol and just playing around with the, the properties and tweening them a bit, I've created a whole group of stick figures and I only had to animate like six frames, right? Now moving on to the movie clip symbols. I mainly only use movie clips to create non-animated assets that need blend mode or filter effects. You can animate inside movie clips, but they won't play on the main timeline like graphic symbols do. Now, if you select a movie clip and go to properties, you will see the blend window where you can apply different color blend effects that affect whatever's behind it, like this background we have here. Next, you have the filter effects under this filters window. For these, you can apply different things like glow filter to make fancy glowing effects and a bunch of cool stuff that you can play around with. So for this circle, I added a glow filter and I applied an add blend mode to it. Now I'm happy with how this energy ball looks, but I also want to add like a pulsing animation loop. So I'm actually going to put this movie clip inside of a graphic to start animating it. Now, since this movie clip is inside of a graphic, it plays properly on the timeline. And I can drag it out from the library to reuse it whenever I want. Now the rest of this tutorial is just a speed run of me just playing around with the different symbols. Just trying to show you just how many different assets you can make just from one little circle. You can put graphics in movie clips and movie clips inside of graphics as many times as you want. So the amount of different things that you can get from one circle is insane.